Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Juan here. Today I want to do something a little different. I'm going to be cooking uh, enchiladas or enchiladas like we call it in Mexico. The real ones, not the Tex-Mex or any of those kind of things. I will be making the enchiladas uh, with onions and queso fresco only. So let's get into it. The first thing I need, my ingredients of course, we need queso fresco and I like to get queso fresco from La Vaquita. We're gonna need oregano, we're gonna need some onions, so we're gonna have a little crying moment and stuff like that, so get ready. We're gonna have some uh, chile guajillo, we're gonna put that in the blender along with the uh, onions, and um, we need lettuce, we need oil, and we need um, potatoes, and potatoes and carrots okay so let's get started so the first thing that I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in here so I can boil the potatoes and the carrots at the same time so let's go ahead and do that <clears throat> okay so how you been doing guys like what is it exactly your favorite dish or your favorite plain to Mexican stuff that you like to eat please let me know in the comments down below and Maybe I can make a recipe or a video about that. So let me know what is your favorite food, tu comida favorita. And maybe the next time I will be making that video. So I don't usually cook, but when I do, I like to make sure that everything is, you know, made right. So we're clearing the stove. We're gonna let that boil for maybe uh, 15 to 10, 15 to 20 minutes. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put more, uh, a little bit of water in here in my blender. La licuadora. Okay. Actually, before that step, I'm going to boil this, los guajillos, and um, el ajo. So we're gonna boil those together. So we're gonna boil the, actually only the, the we're gonna boil the um, chile guajillo. So let's boil that, but before we do that, we're gonna make sure that we cut these little tails Cortar la cola, we need to make sure that all the seeds are out. So let's get a knife. There it is. So cut it. Cut it. Cut. And of course, this is going to have to be, um, you know, it's up to you how spicy you want the enchiladas to be. I personally don't like them that spicy, so you can do either or. You can do as many chiles as you want or but you know i'm a defective mexican i don't like anything to be spicy so you know don't blame me i don't know don't come after me don't come for me so i'm just saying just putting it out there okay so let's make sure that we get this all done and these are the little seats that you want to you know take out Okay, so once you do that, make sure that all of them are out, completely out, because you don't want to be eating seeds and stuff like that, even though you're going to be using a colador, so you, once you blend in the, put everything on the blender, you know, you don't get any of those kind of things to, in your mouth. So, once we do this, we're going to put it on the stove again. And we're gonna let that boil for a few minutes. So we're gonna set this to the side. In the meantime that we have all that going on over there, we're gonna be cutting the onions and we're gonna be cutting the um, queso fresco, which is la vaquita, okay? So let's get ready to have the little llorando moment. And if I cry, guys, if I cry. <laughs> It's not because it's something hard to just because of the freaking onion. So, 
I don't know why the onion makes you cry, and but I know a trick. If the onion makes you cry, open the uh, the freezer and let that cool air come into your eyes, and that will make you better, and it will make it stop. So I'm already ready, you guys. So just letting you know. Okay, so we're gonna cut the onion just like that. And make sure you take this off. So how many of you guys at home um, know how to cook and what is your favorite dish? I personally don't like to cook so, you know, I don't like to the mess, I don't like to clean after everything is already cooked and the wash dishes and stuff like that. Even though I have a dishwasher, I still don't like it um, for some reason. I don't know if it's just me or if I'm just lazy, but, you know, I don't like to cook at all. My husband, he likes to complain about, hey, when are you gonna cook, when are you gonna cook? Well, guess what? This meal is for you, and it's a surprise for you. So when you come back from, from work, you will have your enchiladas ready to eat. And I hope you like them. And if not, you're still gonna eat it, okay? I'm not cooking this for nothing. Okay, so let's cut all the onions. And you were probably you're probably wondering what is the onion for? So this onion is gonna be mixed with the queso fresco, and this is what's gonna be inside the enchiladas. Okay. When I was a little, uh, when I was little, I actually used to help out my mom. She used to make food for a living, like dinners and stuff. And um, you know, I used to pay attention to everything that she was doing and what she was mixing things with and what what were the, <clears throat> the ingredients. So I learned a little bit here and there, but it's still, I don't like to cook. So make sure that all this is well cut. Okay. So this is a good recipe for um, you guys that are not able to go back to a restaurant and you you want to try some enchiladas you can actually make this at home again the ingredients are just onions oregano queso fresco um, lettuce carrots and potatoes chile guajillo and that's it it's very it's as simple as that so if you're craving some enchiladas you want to go back to you know that happens um, restaurant and stuff like that, go sit down or you are afraid that you're gonna get some corona, just stay home, go to the grocery store, get your uh, ingredients and make them at home. It's not gonna take more than probably an hour. It's very simple, you guys. Very simple. When my mom told me about this, I was like, oh, that's something that I can manage. So, mi mamá es bien mexicana and she knows how to cook everything. Tamales, pozole, menudo, and I'm like, I don't have time to do all that. So give me something simple, give it, give me something, you know, something that I can actually make by myself without you being here. So I'm right now by myself. Nobody is here with me, nobody's helping me on, uh, or telling me what to do, what to put next, what to uh, put together. So. Okay, so you already have the onion. We already have the onion, so the next thing we're gonna do is get your cheese, queso fresco. And I'm not wasting my time, okay? So get your cheese. This is actually shocking, uh, guys, and the onion, it was, you know, it wasn't that bad. It didn't make me cry this time, I guess. I don't know what happened, but, you know. Okay, so we're gonna, um, Desboronarlo. You're gonna desboronarlo like like so. So you can see right here. Lo vas a desboronar. Okay. And you're gonna mix it with your um, with your onions. And again, this is what's gonna be inside the onions. Vas a meter bien metida en las onions, girl. Okay. So desboronalo. Desboronalo, desboronalo, and until you get it like that. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all that in a container. 
So we're going to put it in our container. And along with the onion, I'm sorry for the mess. So just like that. And there it is, your onion and cheese to go inside the enchiladas. So now we're just waiting for the rest to be ready. In the meantime, we're gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay. So let me know in the comments down below what you know how to cook. Um, what you have been doing, what you've been doing for all this quarantine time, and how you've been, you know, holding up together. Did you did you go back to work? Have you been working? Let me know in the comments down below and we can have a little conversation. Also, we can continue the conversation on my Instagram, which is Juanito Ruiz G. And uh, it will be linked in the description down below. So if you have any questions, please let, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will be more than happy to answer your questions, okay? So now that's done. We're gonna move on with the lechuga and make sure that we wash the lechuga okay so let's cut it just like so wash it okay once you wash the lechuga Go ahead and, and cut it as well. This is gonna be on top of your enchiladas along with the um, carrots and uh, potatoes, okay? So this is it. This is very simple, you guys. So if you are, like I said, if you're craving some enchiladas, Go ahead and uh, go get your ingredients from the store. I'm gonna put the uh, ingredients in the description down below so you can see what kind of um, ingredients I used. And again, if it's too spicy with the chili wakiyo, just make sure that you add only one to it instead of multiple. Um, I added a few because Michael, he, my husband, he's, um, you know, he's a very Mexican person so mucho mexicano 100% and he likes everything to be spicy i personally don't like it spicy so okay we have your lettuce and uh, let's put it let's put the lettuce here okay that's it go uh, you have that this is gonna be here for the potatoes and the carrots once they're ready uh, boiled and soft in order for me to go ahead and um, and fry them we're gonna fry them a little bit we're gonna put them on the, the comal so this onion right here it's gonna go it's like a half an onion like regular size onion so we're gonna put it in the blender and also el, el diente de ajo Los chiles ya están hirviendo, so we're gonna put them there. We put a little bit of the water that you boil them with and put them in there. Now the next thing you will be adding your oregano, just a little bit. A little bit. Oregano, oregano, from HB. Now 
we're gonna blend them together okay But we're gonna use a colander or a colador. So make sure you put it there and just pay attention to it. This is the reason why I need a colander. Okay, just put a little bit. Go like this, go like that. Get it a little bit. Pégale. Pégale para que se salga. And this is the thing that you don't need. You don't need all that. So, all you want is a chile. Don't get me wrong. Okay, and chile, and we're gonna finish it with the rest. And that's it. And we are done. Okay, you guys, so this is it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and wait for the uh, potatoes and carrots to be ready, and then I'm going to uh, to continue with the process, okay? So you see everything, everything that I mess in, so I have cheese and all my friends with my chest, then the tumor, and the spots, 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 and Okay, so we're done with the potatoes and carrots, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera over. One second. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in little squares. Okay, so we're gonna cut them like that, like that. Okay. So I really want you guys to feel inspired. I really want you to feel like you know you want to cook something. Um, if you know how to cook, this is your first time, maybe this is a good recipe for you guys. If you are married, if you have a, a boyfriend, you have a girlfriend, and you want to surprise them, um, go ahead and I challenge you guys to go ahead and make the same recipe as me. It's again, it's very simple, it's very easy, and it tastes delicious. I mean, there is no wrong way to, no way you can go wrong with this, uh, with this recipe. Again, um, it's just onions, queso, queso fresco, but if you want to try uh, adding some uh, chicken or any other kind of meat, I, you can do that. Again, enchiladas to me are not, not bad or with queso amarillo, that's not enchiladas to me, that's the American way and I like to do it the Mexican way. So. Let me go ahead and finish doing this off camera and I'll be right back, okay? I'm gonna go feed my, my baby, my, my dog. I forgot to feed him, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we are done with our um, potatoes and carrots. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and, and make sure that we um, fry them. So I'm gonna leave this right here. And let me get my, my pan, my cazuela. We're going to put a little bit of oil. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of oil. And <clears throat> get the fire started. Okay. 
Now, uh, remember, we have already made the chile, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Ooh, I think it needs a little salt. We're gonna add a little salt to it. This is salad gusto, so this is just to your taste. Okay, so we're gonna leave this sitting right here. Hold just one moment. We have our potatoes here, so and carrots. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on your on the pan and let them boil or fry. And Meanwhile, we're gonna go get um, tortillas. So I forgot about that ingredient, which is the main one, which is the tortillas. Porque sin tortillas, you cannot make enchiladas. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my ingredients ready. Tortillas. Get las tortillas in the little chile that we have made already. Did you pass gas, Diego? Did you pass that gas, Diego? There's my baby. Where is? Where are you, Diego? Hey, Diego. Hi. He wants to be right here next to me. I don't know why, but okay. Okay. So. We dip them into the sauce, and the sauce is going to be right. So once you do that, you're going to fry them a little bit. Get another plate, because you're going to need a plate to put the tortillas. Okay, so get your plate, and... You're gonna let them sit there for a few seconds. Okay, so let me go ahead and make sure that I get this done so you can see it on camera. Okay, this is very simple. This is very simple. It takes me like probably less than an hour to get them done. So if you ever want to make them, go ahead and make them, feel free. And yeah, that's it. Like right now, this is my tortilla and it's already ready. So this is for the first enchilada. So what you're going to do is you get your enchilada and you put your cheese and onions and you put them, you put that in the middle, just like that and you fold it. And there's one enchilada right there, okay? So we're gonna make the next one and uh, off camera, and then I will show you the final result.
Okay, these potatoes are ready, are ready and uh, he just texted, texted me that uh, he's in the way. So let me just get this ready and I want to get this plate going. So, okay, the potatoes and the carrots are already done. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, lettuce. My lettuce on top. See? There it is. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my my potatoes and carrots on top. Just like so. Okay, like that. And if you want more cheese, you can put always more cheese and that's why you have queso fresco here. So you can just put um, a little bit more of cheese like this on top, like this. And that is it, you guys. You can add a little bit of sour cream. You can add a little bit of, um, you know, sauce or whatever. But, mmm, I got it. And I don't you, I don't know you guys, but I'm already hungry, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite, take a bite, take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. Take a bite. And let's see. Mm. Can't wait. So I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. You know? This is delicious. I'm actually a chef now. I'm a chef. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. This is amazing. You need to try this at home. Try it. It's delicious. You are not going to miss a restaurant if you make this at home. Mm. You can put some chile um, and vinagre. Mm. But it's delicious. We're gonna have some chiles. And where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? You can have some chile and vinagre, like the caldito, to make it better. And on top of that, you can add some um, jalapenos, and that will make the best Mexican enchiladas ever so if you are home not knowing what to cook not having ideas on what to make this is a really good dish mm. i wish you were here so you could try them always a surprise well that's it you guys thank you so much for watching and if you made it far this, to this video please don't forget to subscribe like this video comment let me know in the comments down below what kind of um, videos you want me to make and what would you like me to, uh, to do next. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Um, let's just connect for a little bit um, through YouTube. Forget about the world and just try to, you know, focus on positivity. And don't forget about that. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, ooh, this is so good. This is so good. Um, mm. Mm. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Mm. Bye.